Hi and welcome. My name is Julianne Cost and in the next few minutes we're going to talk about how we can use collections to help us to organize our photos in Lightroom Mobile. Now you certainly don't have to use collections. You can just keep all of your photos in this all photos view and whenever you need to find an image you can scroll down through all of the images that you have in Lightroom to find them. Sometimes though I find it quicker to find the photos that I want to work with if I take the time to put them into a collection. Say for example, you know, I go out and photograph 100 images. Well, instead of having to scroll through all of those images, I could make a collection with just maybe the top 10 images that I like. Or maybe when I'm looking for all of the flower images that I photographed, because I photograph them on different days, instead of again having to scroll through all of those images, I could just create a collection full of flowers. So let's take a look at how we would do this. I'm going to go into my Lightroom photos and I can see that I have a number of different plant images here so I want to make a collection. I'll tap on the three dots in the upper right and I'm going to choose copy to but I just want to make sure that you understand that when I copy these to a collection Lightroom isn't going to duplicate the files on the hard drive. It's going to create a collection and add these photos into a collection, but the collection is really virtual. So there's still only one original photo, and that photo can then be put into as many virtual collections as you want. So let's tap Copy To, and let's say I just want these images in that collection. I'll tap on the chevron, tap to create a new collection, tap the check mark, and then we'll name this plants. And when we return back to all photos view, we can see that I have my all photos and my newly created collection. When I tap on the collection, we can see just those five images that I selected to put in that collection. All right, let's try making a collection in a little bit different manner. Here I am back on this home screen and I'm going to tap on the check mark in the upper right. Then I'll create a second collection. This will be my winter collection. Tap OK. Return to the All Photos view. Scroll down through my grid. Tap the three dots. Again, choose Copy To. And then select the images that I want to add to this collection. I'll tap the chevron, select the winter collection, tap the check mark, and we can see now that those images have been added to this secondary collection. If I want to change the cover of the collection, I can tap and hold on any photograph in the collection and choose set as cover. When we return back to the main screen, we can see that this cover photo has been updated. You can also copy to, remove, or move photos between collections in Lightroom Mobile. Let's go back into the plant collection. I'll tap the three dots, or you could just tap and hold on one of the images and choose copy to, move to, or remove. If I choose copy to, the image will be in both collections, the one that it's currently in and the one that I copy it to. If I choose move to, it will select it from this collection and move it out of this collection into the other. Let's try that one. I'll move this image to winter, tap the check. It is no longer in the plants collection, but it's now in the winter collection. If I want to remove an image, Again, I can use the three dots and choose remove, or I can tap and hold right on the image itself and choose remove. When I remove it from this collection, remember, it's only removing it from the collection. It is still available in the All Photos view. If I want to change the order of the photographs in a collection, I can tap and hold on any photograph and choose change order. I can then select one image, or several images and tap and drag in order to reorder those images within the collection. If I want to return back to the original sort order, I can choose winter and then instead of selecting sort by custom order, 
I can return to capture time or modified date or any of the other options that I prefer. Lightroom will still hold on to that custom sort order. If I ever want to return to that custom sort order, I'll select winter again, sort by capture time, and choose custom order. If I ever need to rename a collection, I'll move back to the All Photos view, tap on the three dots next to the collection, choose Rename, and then enter in the new name. If I no longer need a collection, I can tap the three dots and choose Remove. This will remove the collection, but again, because collections are virtual, all of those photos are still available in the All Photos view. So there you have it. I think creating collections can really save you time when you're working with large volumes of images. And of course, any collection you make on Lightroom Mobile will be synchronized to Lightroom on the desktop. I'm Julianne Cost. Thanks for watching.